Hey guys, Joelster here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another projector video review. So this time I have a new 4K projector just in time for the Super Bowl. Now this is the Nebula Cosmos Max by Anchor. And I'm so excited to share my experience with you because not only this projector has a beautiful picture, but it also has some awesome features. So if you're interested to go big and have a superb picture, this video is for you. Welcome to the channel. I'm Joelster. And let's do this. All right, guys. So the first thing to notice is the shape of this projector. I'm used to square or rectangular models. So seeing this oval shape just gives me that fresh new tech look. Not only that, on top of the projector has this nebula branding that lights up and stars around it, simulating a galaxy. It looks awesome and futuristic. The unboxing is also pretty cool. Everything is in black and well arranged. Anchor also includes the power cord, the power brick, a Bluetooth remote, batteries are included as well, and the welcoming paperwork. Now in the front of the projector is the lens, of course, with an autofocus camera right next to it. On the back is the power button along with the ports, which includes the DC in, two HDMI 2.0 ports, one with ARC support for audio, two USB Type-A ports, and an optical port for audio. Now at the bottom of the projector, there is an option for ceiling mount and tripod mount. Around the projector is where the speakers are located. Nebula calls it 3D audio. Now in my experience, the sound is loud and clear, but I didn't hear any surround sound effect. But if you're using this as your home theater, I highly recommend to use at least a soundbar or a receiver since this projector does have an audio return channel and an optical port for audio. Alright guys, so my first impression right out of the box is the picture quality. You'll notice how bright and colorful the picture is. It is rated at 1500 ANSI lumens and according to my LOX meter, it's about right. It has 100% REC 709 color gamut coverage and around 99% of REC 2020. The contrast and black levels are also well balanced. Even under ambient light, the projector produces a very good picture. In my case, I'm using an ALR screen or ambient light rejecting screen and I'm able to produce an 80 inch picture from just around eight feet and six inches, but you can go up to 150 inch if you have the space for it. All right guys, so I'm going to dig deeper into the projector operating system settings, and I will also show you some gaming. Let's do this. All right guys, so let me show you real quick some of the menus, the operating system. First of all, this is an Android 9 operating system. So if you're familiar with it, you know how easy it is to navigate and how responsive it is. I like this. I'm also really liking this uh, this uh, controller. Since it's Bluetooth, it works flawlessly. Very fast. I like this. All right, so over here, we have regular apps. YouTube, of course, Disney+, Plus, HBO Max, all the applications that you want to use for streaming. Um, there's so many things that you can even including games if you want to or just music youtube music one thing i noticed is that i couldn't find netflix here so one thing i did is i downloaded the nebula manager application once you get in here you guys notice that there are more applications here there's firefox disney plus but netflix is available here you can definitely go ahead sign in open up the application and it works no issues whatsoever this is sort of like the uh the applications designed for the mobile app but it still works in here oh yeah dracula man i love this show you guys gotta see it you guys gotta see this all right let me uh get back here before i get copyright but uh yeah guys it works great let me show you a little bit of the uh settings from the projector once you connect this, you can uh, also connect it with your phone and all your, you know, Wi-Fi sign-in network and everything, it will just link 
to the projector. It is pretty awesome. I like this. So uh, let's go into projector settings real quick. Picture, you, you have three options. You have standard, movie, right? And then you have office as well. Let's leave it on movie. Movie tends to be uh, a little warmer. Over here we have brightness, contrast adjustment, advanced settings. You can change the saturation, the hue, gain, gamma. I mean, there are plenty of options that you guys can choose from. Over here, there's colder temperature. I have it at warm. I kind of like warm. Color wall, you, if you have different color wall, you can make those adjustments. In this case, I'm using white or gray will be pretty much the option that I have here. Keystone correction, correction. you have the automatic keystone correction or you can do it manually. I usually like to do it manually. Zoom, this is very, very helpful function because just let's say that you have a small room like in my case, I have a small room, so I can't produce a 100 inch screen. This is actually 80 inches and it still looks amazing. But with the Zoom, I was able to reduce the screen size so I can make it fit into this screen. And it's just super, super helpful that I have this function. Autofocus, you guys already know what that means. You can also make it manual if you want to. And then projector mode, I have this in automatic, but just in case if you're ceiling mount the projector, you can change that option to front projection, rear projection. You have plenty of options. Overall, guys, this is super easy to use. And I'm glad that I figured out how to use Netflix as well. And then you can also, for example, you can also just use this as a uh, speaker over here, I saw the Bluetooth speaker mode. You click on this Switching one Bluetooth and it switches mode. to Bluetooth speaker mode so you can connect your phone to this and just use it as a speaker, uh, Bluetooth speaker, and that's it. You don't need to have a, you need to have the picture on. So let's go back into the main menu. All right, so another cool feature is the voice commands. You can use this with your remote controller. Let me just show you real quick a little sample Show me movies in 4K. And there you go. You can browse through the movies that are available in 4K. And once you click on one of these titles, it'll take you to the app that supports this movie. Nice. Open Jolster on YouTube. And there you go. Oh wow, it does recognize my name. And even though it's showing videos from like a year or very old vi videos, but hey, it works. That's pretty awesome. Alright guys, so I'm a gamer and of course I connected my Xbox Series X to the projector and yes, it looks awesome. Although HDR gaming looks a little washed out, but the overall the 4K resolution does look very sharp. Now I don't recommend using this for competitive gaming, the input lag is very high as usual with these projectors. Although I was able to get some kills, but the overall experience is not so good. Now for single player games this is excellent. I played Assassin's Creed Valhalla and it was awesome. Being able to play on a big screen is a very cool experience. Alright guys, so what do I think about this projector? Well, picture wise, it's amazing. Beautiful colors and contrast. You will love the picture quality this projector offers. Also, the operating system, it's easy to navigate and understand everything. Even Netflix is included through the Nebula app. And Amazon Prime as well. You can also cast from your phone if you want to or from an Amazon Fire Stick, but all the major streaming apps are included. The sound is also great, but if you're not satisfied, you also have the option of connecting your sound system. Now with that being said, there is one feature that is missing and that is 3D support. I'm a big fan of 3D movies at home on a big screen, so I wish this projector had 3D support. I also noticed there's some light plate around the picture. It is noticeable in a dark room, so I would recommend to use an ambient light if that bothers you. Other than that, this is an amazing projector. 
it sells for $1,700. I'm pretty sure you will be satisfied with the picture this offers. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. Thank you so much for stopping by. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of content. I'm Joster, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Joster out.